Start looking towards that one. We're in game, finally! Yay! It's away from our faces. It's a good time. At last. But yeah, Penta could do with maybe a nice CT start here. Yeah, they may have a couple of issues on the pistol, but going forward, you get a nicer buffer in this, and there we go. So, Vospro will get their start, which uh, will at least keep Vospro in the right mindset of keeping clean games. So, I'm... Um Assuming that Virtus Pro will choose to stick, yeah, they're going to have to go on the uh, CT side and get themselves a good start. As you said, that's the, that's really the problem. Penta, if they had a chance, it may have been starting out on the CT side. But with VP here, let's see. Pistol round's a big deal. Pistol round's a very big deal on Inferno. Could maybe get yourself a couple of rounds on the board, but so often we've seen that second round buyback come straight back and bite them in the ass. Pistol round, though, underway, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Virtus Pro. Starting out as the CT up against Penta. And who will come out on top? Snack's going aggressive on Banana. He's all alone, though. Well, he's not. He's got two players behind him. That's the point. Maybe trying to draw them in and say, guys, come to B. You've got one down. It's perfect. And then there's Neo and Pasha are waiting. Oh, but Ooh. Tabson with a stunner taking down Neo. Something I don't think anyone was expecting. And now Pasha kind of cornered off. Back to the wall. He's got players left, right, and center. Goes for the peak towards the ruins, but tagging up Crystal severely. Doesn't get the shot off. Finally, Taz will save the day, but this looks like a great start for Penta. Tabson got four so far. Absolutely massive. Did get finally taken down. Bialy comes around the side. Manages to find trouble. Eight, but that bomb is ticking. Strux is coming around construction. Stavros from Banana tries to fake it, tries to draw him. Strux is not being drawn into this one. Stavros also backing off. Beautiful. Taking the time. Drawing out. Bialy will get taken down. And Penta will pick up round one. Yeah, Penta just depending on Tabson then. And why not? If he can pick up four kills like that, you may as well just lean on him when uh, you need to come up big. But let's see what buy they get here. Let's see what they've got going on. Cause Penta, yeah, it, hey, they like getting <laughs> these shotguns. It gets you good money. And... It looks like they just want money in the bees on. I'm, I mm. don't like the bees on. I'd prefer to see a Mac 10 or something like that. There's already two there. One, I'll get three. But one rifle on tabs are not too surprising. But on the other side of the coin, you've got uh, not a heavily invested side, but put a fair bit of money in. Two scouts, P250s, and why not? You may as well try and do the damage here. Yeah, as you can see, it's Pasha trying to get that scope. He does manage to get the clip on the heels of Trouble. And knocks him down to 30. Crystal. Making his way up second mid, wants to challenge him, wants to hope that Pasha's going to keep poking around there, but that's going to get smoked off. Not going to get drawn into anything easy. Snacks on the other side. He's once again just holding the angle over on Banana. It's Crystal we're watching right now, making his way through apartments. He's going to find one. Just got tagged up heavily. Strux actually taking a bit of damage there. That was Snacks, who didn't get touched and managed to take down Strux to 30. Yeah, but Pasha's actually, reading no, uh, into this B. Mm, I reckon that was Pasha actually maybe rotated. Didn't see the shot land. No, I don't, I don't know if it was, but Pasha's actually come over towards B, and this is a very early read on it. Crystal was in apps not too long ago. He's now joined them towards this B push. Oh. Stavros is there. So there's three players waiting. They can do a lot of damage here. Taz will probably start rotating very quickly. And Pasha now partially blind. Peaks out. Gets trouble. That's a big impact play. Snacks find Strux. And this is not going well for Penta. They're pushing through. Neo still on site. Trying to get anything he can with that USB. He's got Pasha backing him up. Pasha's taken down. And now Neo down to just 19 health. Not able to quite finish off Crystal. He got him so low. Now his support is here, though. Time. Taz and Bialy coming around. As you say, time. Clock is ticking. Bomb does get planted just at the last second. But has the damage been done? Stavros is going to hop around the corner. He knows that Taz is there. We'll find one. Wasn't expecting Bialy to follow up now. Oh, and Tabson. Tabson. Great spot. He was the hero of the last round. But not this time around. The defuse will come from Virtus. And they will get themselves straight back in it. It was a risky play going for the double... Uh, Scouts, but, well, it seems to work out. Bialy got himself two. Pasha, I think, got one in there as well. They were the two with these scouts. It worked. You can't doubt it if it works. The T-side, though, won't be too bad for money going forward. They did get two, um, you know, two bits of good plant work in. They're not exactly in the worst situation in the world. They'll have to eco this one, but then going forward, they should be okay. But look at what First Pro doing. They want to get the money in their bank as well. Got a P90, which is with Taz, who's been playing generally at CT Arch, or at least just behind Pasha, maybe switching out with him depending on the guns. Pasha opting for just the P250, maybe looking for that early AWP. And on the other side, you've got a lot of SMG power. Bialy snacks Neo. Actually, Neo opting to keep the AK as well over towards B. So, interesting to see that one still on the B side there. Not going to opt over for it to A. 
But now Penta just need to kind of weigh up their options. They like this B hit. It's been working quite well for them. But when it came down to that 1v1 in the end, well, 1v2, should I say, just wasn't enough. But still, Buzz Pro, not a great deal of utility, but they do have the mollies there to put into place if needed. Yeah, the double molly, it's uh, Neo and Pasha that are holding on to them. And look at Snacks, ready and waiting to flash Neo in. Just pop it around the corner. Here they come. That flash is going to land oh, beautifully. Cute. And Snacks is just going to catch them all out on porch, completely blind. Will get taken down by Strux, but, well, the damage surely has been done already. The rest of the team rotating. Bial is making his way around the back as well. And they're just going to get penned in. Down Banana. Biali will pick himself up one. He's got the Mac 10, switches to the pistol. And in the end, it was very it's easy. A lot of money Beautiful well. flash. Snacks is going to be loving that cash. He's going to be <laughs> pretty solid now going forward. I um, wonder to see what he picks up. Yeah, just going for the standard um, buy into this. Leaving Pasha with the SMG P90, still with Taz. Neo got to keep the AK. And Biali going back to the SMG. But they might be a little caught out here because looking on the other side, it may not be the best of buys, but Penta do have head armor. They do have rifles. This might hurt a little. Well, the molly is starting to build. Snacks did go for that M4 now. And this time Penta are going to get delayed by the smokes. Bialy actually fairly aggressive here. Up in the bedroom. Nobody from Penta pushing too deep. Crystal's actually creeping his way up mid as well, but Pasha's got that angle covered off. Crystal, well, he's going to get immediately smoked off. Will step away from that one, so Ooh. Pasha delaying things yet longer. Stavros could be walking into real trouble, and he is. The P90 of Taz turns up with Bialy chiming into one towards Strux, and that's every player who is at apps just eliminated. The three in mid now going to find it so hard. Perfect flash from Pasha comes out, well-timed. And this is going to be extraordinarily tough. And even with those rifles, they've not had the chance to use them. But finally they do. They take down Pasha and Taz. And that is A looking a little bit vulnerable. But Snacks was there so far. Snacks back in position. Bialy's got himself back on site as well. Pulled out of apartments. He's got one just above him. Crystal's coming around. I think he's going to spot the head. No, Crystal manages to come out on top. Now, oh, Snacks bomb, actually caught off. But like you say, there's the bomb. And Crystal's getting smoked off away from it. Snacks is going to creep forward. But Crystal, oh, he's going to go straight through the smoke. Not sure if he realizes there's a player right ahead of him. Gets himself through Boiler, and he's going to try and come around here. Neo got himself in a good position, though. Tucked away from that balcony. Yeah, and time is going to be the major factor there. He had to try and get the bomb recovered. But Snacks waited on the edge of the smoke, and they do recover two of those rifles. And, well, that's going to put a wonderful spot here for Virtus Pro. They've got a good bit of bank building, enough to fall back on, and you can see how well flush they are now. On the other side of things, complete difference. Three flashes, no armor, a couple of P250s, and they're just going to have to do what they can with it. And even with that opening pistol round for Penta, it's starting to slip away already. They've got to be careful. I think it ended up 7 or 8, 1 last Ooh, time three around. Three stack on B. Oh, one. Pasha flashed out heavily. Snacks his grenade. The, I think as the triple grenade all went down there, just decimating trouble. No armor, so not a lot to stop that one. They're actually the ones creeping up, but Taz has got himself in cubby just around the corner. Yeah, Taz could do well here. Pop flash comes in. Doesn't actually Ooh. blind Taz, but Crystal, regardless, will find his way through. That CT arch now controlled. I do think they actually got the gun out of it as well. Tabson did manage to recover the gun, but it doesn't matter. Pasha pushing round, and there we go. It was just a slaughter for Pasha in the end. He just took down three on his own. And you've got to give credit where it's due. Buzz Pro just never looked that phase, even though Penta then were right on their doorstep. Mm. They controlled it well. Yeah, they had the position, but as you pointed out at the start, tried the three stack at B. Didn't matter if they read the situation wrong. Penta were only on pistols. This time, though, we've got an AWP for Crystal. Let's see if he can do anything with it. It's glass cannon, though. Might work out here. It depends if Neo and Snacks go a little aggressive. He is peeking for it. Let's see if they push out towards the car. Not the case, and the nade does a touch of damage, but not too much. But look at the peek into mids. Pasha's just oh. feeling so confident. Tabson and Strux go down. And probably might try and peek that smoke, and he does. It works out perfectly, but it doesn't matter. There's still two other players waiting on A. And even when you just take down Pash, you've still got Bialy. You've still got Taz. There's so many factors in the way here for Penta. I don't know what they can do now. Yeah, when you when you see him, Pasha, that confident that he's just going to peek straight down mid, pop out, get himself a double, you know that Virtus Pro are feeling pretty good about this game. Stavros just going to leave the bomb around lower mid there. Crystal is creeping up in the way 
into Banana, but Neo is holding that one pretty comfortably, gets another smoke down, so nothing coming of the Banana side. Stavros is going to be the potential, but he's really up against it here. Taz and Snacks both covering off Arch and Quad. Taz still boosted up, I believe, yeah, just around the side there, so I'm not sure Stavros will be expecting that. Yeah, simple stuff for Taz. Taz just locking down that uh, quad push, and it's it's just Vers Pro looking comfortable. They look just like a better team, which we said they were. That's the thing here. You know, Vers Pro don't look pushed just yet. I think Penta could be able to pull a couple of you know scrappy pug star rounds together, and maybe pick up a few. But at the moment, they're just not in the right place to be doing it. They're being picked apart early by aggressive plays coming out, whether it be Pasha joining them on towards B, throwing down those early grenades, or with that double pick up into mid. Crystal will at least get away with the AWP. He will probably couple that with armor if he fancies it into this round coming up. But all in all, this is not looking so good for Penta here. They're, they're struggling to make an impact. So, Virtus Pro starting strong after losing the pistol. After a little bit of magic from Tabson. But four of his five kills were picked up in that first round. And as you can see, not a lot coming from Penta for the rest. Let's see how it works out. Pasha peaked early on last time. He's got Bialy with him going for the cross. Remember, there was that orb down there. That's risky stuff with Crystal, but was flashed in. Deep smoke this time from Virtus Pro as well over in Banana. Yeah, it's allowing Neo and Snacks further control towards B, allowing themselves to push down a little and just restrict what Penta can achieve map control um, wise at least. And Crystal trying to get a couple of shots through, not going to find much sadly. And you can still see Tabs and Trouble, Crystal looking back towards mid and saying, well, do we fancy playing against Pasha right now? He's seeming to have a very good game here. We have Stavros and Strux over towards those apps. Edging the way, and it looks like an A execute, but Snacks already reading this. He's over on towards A, it's a 4v5, and the CT side have such an advantage here. Yeah, immediately. Oh, Snacks was taken down, but Pasha quickly gets that revenge. Almost gets himself a second. Oh, not quite the third there. Crystal does come out, but look at Bialy in perfect position. They're going to push out apartments at the same time. This could be a good round for Penta. They've managed to take it down to just Neo, who's on the rotate. Bomb plant not quite in from Tabson. There it is. Now Neo. Very low hit points for Penta. This is entirely possible for Neo. If he can land that molly, that might well start things off well. I'm just thinking, how the hell did Taz not kill Strux? He was he was on the ledge. Or I, he might have been down in pit. I'm not too sure. I didn't actually see it from his perspective. But that's a sort of round that y you can't let slip. Neo still. Not going to go for this one. Time not on his side. Seeing closer, he might be able to try and get a couple of exits. He does take down Strux. Tabson. Not going to fall. Picks it up. And Penta, get a well-needed well round on the board. But yeah, I was surprised that Taz didn't actually stop Strux from coming out of Absent. I don't know if he was just adjusting from the balcony um, down towards the bottom of Pit, but he really did get caught off there. But we do see a double AWP setup coming out for Virtus Pro now. I wonder if it's just one of those times where his attention was drawn, because Bialy was fine, he knew there was two at Quad. I wonder if he just pulled his attention down there and not double stared. Orp, but like you say, orp. double AWP, interesting. Into Nobody going to this time cross over. Going to play it a little bit more call for... Oh, yeah. Crystal's waiting for Pasha to peek here. Who will come out on top? So many times we've seen this AWP battle. The Kenny S and Mo comes back to mind. Oh, Crystal comes out on top. I was expecting. And that's the second time we've seen the man that's holding the angle lose out. It's just weird these days. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. Peek's advantage? I don't know. It's not right. Because Taz was, no, sorry, excuse me, Pasha was literally waiting for that yeah. perfectly. He he adjusted for the secondary peak. He was not going for the initial. He was waiting for that. And somehow Crystal pulls it off. As I was saying, you know, there's no doubting Penta's mm. um, individual skill. They're good players. But as a team, can they now transfer this to a round? Taz has changed his position. He's now on site on A. But it looks like Penta might be heading towards B. Now, there is a smoke slightly slowing them down. Mm. So this could buy some time, and Neo's still with that molly, still with a flash. He can buy enough time to allow Snacks to be fully dedicated here. But Crystal still lurking over by the A site, is keeping Taz and Bialy busy. But now I believe it is going to be go time. That molly's going to be perfect. Snacks finds Troubly, and now Neo waits for the push across. He knows they're going to have to do it, and he's perfectly waiting to receive. He goes for the second shot and gets denied by Tabson. And now B's looking quite vulnerable. Yeah, Snacks is trying to hold him up, bay. Taz comes around, bomb plant in there. 
Oh, Tapson so close to peeking, does manage to get snacks down. Bialis going to try and come around the back, but Crystal's ready and waiting for him, and it's Taz that's weakening, making his way through construction. Three on two, make it a three on one. Taz, the last man. And, well, Penta could well be picking themselves up a much-needed round here. Stavros will get taken down, but that clock is ticking. Tapson now, if he can get taken, no. Taz, they've got Crystal low. Crystal was already making tracks, but... That is going to be another big round for Penta there. And it all started off with that little peaking battle between Pasha and Crystal. Did, and the orb work out from Penta is very impressive. Crystal there, what a what a great example of that man's ability. Um, however, looking at Elvelis Pro, they're down to the CZs with a touch of armor towards Pasha. A couple of smokes, flashes, five sevens, nothing great. On the other side, very flush for cash now. You can see those mollies maybe going to make a presence here towards B. Hopefully, you know, put Neo out of his comfort zone. But let's just see if Crystal can maybe pull a little bit of that magic out again. He was wonderful at it earlier, but this time Pasha playing a lot more passively. The Molly just towards Cubby. And Penta need to be slow and clinical, like Mouse Sports were in their game against the French sides. Clearing out the corners cautiously, but Bialy is in a bit of a tricky predicament here. I, I'm sure he can hear them and taps and will check, but it doesn't matter. Bialy takes him down. And now Pasha pulls back in with Tanz. That, just chomping at the bit to try and peek it, but Trouble is there, and Trouble will probably land that shot. Yeah, they're in that awkward crossfire position where they have to check Boylan. Taz, oh, I oh, think he just, oh, just caught a glimpse of the shoulder, but the flash was crucial. It buys time for Bialy to get out. Pasha tries to follow out there. They get the gun and they run. But Stavros is actually trying to creep his way through apartments, and nobody's covering him off. Yeah, but surely Bialy's going to give this to Pasha. He has the armor to work with, and he does. So that's a really nice pickup then. Good work just overall, but now these three players have to pull it together, and Pasha does have that AK. Taz comes in with a CZ, and now it's just Stavros. He's behind them, so a little bit different here. Molly comes up. They know where he is. 21 seconds. He's going to have to play this. He's got to play it perfectly. He's done well to begin with, taking down Pasha, but two players in mid, fully flashed. Snacks is there, and that was a brilliant round. One from Bialy, and then from the others to fold around the side of that. Just playing them left, right, and center around the top of mid. One lurking in boiler, one peeling back round quad, and Bialy and Taz completely drawing the attention, and like you say, Pasha over on Arch. Finally gets his hand on that AK and cleans things up. Virtus Pro, 6-3, up, and again, rifles in their hand, and that, of course, puts Penta back in trouble. They've had to revert back to pistols. That grenade is actually going to be on point, and that did a lot of damage to Crystal and Trouble. Yeah, but probably still found Neo, so B's a little bit more vulnerable. He kind of got through that deep banana smoke, pulling Pasha towards B, but then Stavros tries to take it towards A. They're going to pile in here. Taz and Bialy should just mow them down, which they're doing. Well, Strux and Trubbly. Strux, there's no easier place over here, mate. You've still got two people. Oh, he oh. takes down one. She regret Pasha hit a shot, man. If it had had another bullet, he would have absolutely got through there. Trouble he does. So coming through the smoke, and he's got in position because they're both coming up from Banana behind him. If only he knew the position, he'd be able to get that bomb down and buy himself some time on site. Trouble he hasn't got the bomb down. He's got Bialy and Taz. He, I don't think he's expecting them both to be coming from there. Now he expects one, certainly. And that's actually going to help him out. That molly, the flames, are giving him a great bit of cover there. And suddenly they realize dangerous position. They're going to play the clock, but there's he's so much the time on, on ticking. He's just seen where Bialy flashed from. He knows he's on banana now. There's no way that could have come from anywhere else. And Bialy needs to play the waiting game, and he does. Bialy delivers, and what a player to be in that position. He, he just won't let you down. But to be fair, that got far too close for comfort. 7-3 is not quite reminiscent of how close some of these rounds have been. Yeah, that was... I mean, this has be, almost been an eco back-to-back -back for Virtus Pro and then Penta. Almost, almost getting their way back into this. This time they're coming with AKs. They have managed to get themselves a good amount of armor as well. So Ooh, Penta Pasha's going to peek banana as well. He's going to go straight into it. Crystal couldn't afford the AWP. He's only got the Tech 9. He instead, well, probably met headlong into Pasha's AWP. Crystal was contemplating piling straight up mid, but instead backed up the second trouble he went down. And I like the way they put down the smoke, basically almost to allow Pasha enough time to say, OK, well, I took the shot on B. Maybe that'll make the T side think, well, there's only two on towards A. But first road to put down the smoke, buy enough time, Pasha's back. 
And they're in the same position now. Taz, though, tucked in towards Cubby, can watch the push towards Pasha. Smoke comes out, though. And Ben start looking towards Quad. Will they commit here, though? There's still a minute on the board. They've got four people, three up the top. Stavros coming through Boiler. But then are they going to check the angles? That smoke is buying them time, but it's been down for a long time. That Molly's going to catch the corner. That's going to catch Taz out. Taz is burning. He has to move. He tries to draw it out. Almost got two down. Pasha does come around. He gets the revenge. Bialy, and meanwhile, over on the other side, he picks up two. And now it's just absent. A simple one tap from Bialy. He'll get himself a triple in that round. And they delayed for quite a while there. You've got to wonder, I mean, obviously we have the benefit of hindsight. We have the benefit of staring at the minimap, knowing exact positions. They could have possibly pushed around quite a little bit sooner. Maybe they're just trying to find out where Bialy and Taz were. That's pretty much a game because Taz wasn't in his normal spot. He plays normally by balcony or even closer. And then on the other hand, you get players like Bialy who's been in apps. He's been in pit. He's been, you know, a graveyard in that round. He's been just about everywhere. So maybe they were just trying to find out information and think, OK, well, if at least we can spot where one of these guys is, we, we could work off the back of it. And as soon as they took down Taz, who was in a bit of a weird spot, they're like, oh, well, where the hell's Bialy then? Yeah. But look at this. All in play. Molly's going to do not too much, but the nade and the bullets will deliver. Nicely done between uh, Neo and Snacks then. And very, very um, clinical round from them, cleaning up very swiftly. But Penn away that over and done with Molly. Yeah, they, it was uh, good of VP actually not to get caught out by the eco. They all played very deep on that one. All leading with the flashes. 9-3 Virtus Pro. Solid start from them. Couple of shaky rounds that Penta managed to get on the board, but you can see at the top of the board there, Bialy, 18 kills, leading the charge. Very much in control at the start. This time, though, Crystal with the orb, scoping mm. out. Came out on top against Pasha last time, but we can see Pasha once again. He's took it over to Banana. It's perfect placement. Yeah, and Neo came all the way over towards A just to put that smoke into mid and then come back around. So. Instantly buying time and stopping any push towards A to come out immediately. Even if they found out Pasha was on that B site early on. So Vellas Pro just knowing everything. Just, just you know, ticking every single box possible and saying, well, let's hedge our bets here. And Taz and Bialy going to retract back a little. Get ready just in case someone wants to try and pressure A. Now they feel that Pasha was at B. Once again, though, that smoke brought enough time for Pasha. He's back around at CTR. You can see him just crouched in front of Stavros there. Nice little nade to quad, though. I don't think it caught Taz too much. But I guess anything's a bonus when you've got three players. Yeah, Taz actually going looking. And I think he's expecting him here. Oh, he's going to look in Boiler. Oh, I think this sheer movement in Boiler got him out of the range there. Stavros pulled the trigger, just didn't quite catch him. And that, of course, gave all the information for Pasha, who was covering his back. But now Strux and Stavros, they're making their way up mid, but they're going straight into the crosshairs of Pasha. Nothing keeping him at bay. And it's going to be simple fodder for him. Oh, he spots the gun in the corner, switches to the Deagle. Not going to quite work out, but Taz will get the revenge. And now Crystal, last man left, wants to save the AWP. You can't blame him either. <laughs> He's just going to try and get away with that. But once again, to recap, it's, it's quite strange. Pent up. Don't put anything into trying to block off or get rid of Pasha early on. They don't flash him out. They, they put a molly sometimes towards Cubby. But beyond that, they're not finding much. The only time we've really seen him being outdone was when Crystal picked up that brilliantly unexpected shot when Pasha was just slightly kind of off point. But outside of that, it's been an uphill task, and they've never quite looked comfortable. But somehow they've got three rounds, You know, whether it be uh, you know, on eco sometimes with these crazy plays or just well-executed rounds. But they need more. Let's see if they can get it. Oh, Snacks is straight down mid. They're Ooh. going so confident. That's perfect. <laughs> Pasha almost taking Snacks' his head off there the second he ducked. Taz in perfect position, slowing things down. Virtus Pro have, have pretty much, barring the, a couple of odd rounds, like you say, where the, 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 the random skill comes out, have pretty much read Penta like a book here. They've been in the right place at the right time. Taz, oh though. Oh, my God. How has he Mike got here? Caught out. Oh, it's Crystal with the AWP as well. How is he allowed to get there? That smoke gave him just enough grace he... to do this. And now spraying in towards trouble. He switched up to Pistol. He finally gets taken down. But he should never have been allowed in there. No way. Not in a million years. Pasha ends things off. And, well, Strux with the bomb. Stavros has got himself all the way around to Graveyard, though. So they've kind of gone around the back of them. This so, could actually be dangerous. If Strux could pop out Strux and get Neo... Neo's just took his eye off. 
Yeah, I think they're expecting it. I think they're expecting it. But like you say, why why is he not going straight around to pit? He knows pit's clear. Let's see if Stavros can hold CT. Arch at least. Neo just going for a little bit of a challenge. But that's going to at least give away some of the game that Strux can plant if he goes into a site. I hope that's not a standard plant. It's not. Just going to make it harder work for the likes of Pasha here. And now the retake begins from Virtus Pro. Neo over by CT Arch. Nice peek from Strux. Comes out. Did nice. Pasha trying to look for more. Strux still alive. Now he's going to have to pull off the 3k to pick this one up. Straight through the box. Comes out from Snacks as he works his way in down to the P250. Oh. And the headshot will connect. Snacks is just unreal. Real at that sort of shot. Already picking up two kills. The early aggression to begin with and closing out the round as well. From start to finish, what a show. 11-3, Virtus Pro. It's not been that clean. There's no doubt about it. There's, the Penta have come very close a couple of times here. But it's been down to individual talent, individual skill, and Virtus Pro often sending up a good crossfire. Penta, you can see what there's there. You can see it in the individual players. They have the skill. They have the talent. They just lack the teamwork at the moment. And again, Pasha looks like he wants to peek early. Snacks this time with the AWP, though. Down Banana. And that's only trouble over there this time. Well, for once, they've actually taken down Pasha. That was just Tabson doing some real work, which is really important. Flash comes in towards CT Arch. They're going to look to push through. Taz is behind them, though. Taz waited, and now he pounces. Spots one CT Arch, calls it out. Bialy quickly adjusts his attention. But now, how will they deal with the players in apartments? This is a bigger problem. Tabson comes back, finds Taz. It's just Bialy now in a 1v4 pretty much on this site. Neo and Snacks are so far away, but Bialy finds Stavros, finds Tabson. He's looking for two more. The Molly behind him, though, finally pushes him out of his spot. But look at what they had to commit for that one player. Have they delayed enough? Oh, trouble he catches Snacks through the smoke there. And now Neo all alone. He will get taken down. And would you believe history repeats itself? It's 11 4 once again, just like it was two weeks ago for Virtus Pro. Now, last time, Penta actually pulled off quite a few good rounds. He ended up 5 5, obviously, the second round, but sadly, that means Virtus Pro got to 16. But Penta have shown glimmers, glimmers of hope in there. But Virtus Pro, obviously, much more solid on defense. Yeah, it's well, you can always play Puggy and probably pick up a few, right? You, mm. you can just go back to basics. That's bear in mind, Mouse Sports, when they first came together, literally played like some of those standard executes, and it worked every now and then, because you'll just hit that shot. Um, but you can't depend on it every round. You won't get sight advantages. You'll have to go against the odds almost. You know, they're, they're, you will never be able to get that ideal situation. So, you know, for Penta now, they, they're going to have to just try and withstand the pistol, even though Vuzpro are very good at their pistol rounds on this map, or at least to my recollection. And it worries me, because Penta are going to have to dig quite deep here to be able to stop them. Let's see how it works out. Remember, Penta picked up the pistol on the T side through Tabson, getting himself four kills. What the hell? And no one has armor on Penta. Okay. Well, we'll see if it works out. It's a risk. That grenade was actually on point. You'd hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of them thrown there. Crystal, oh, he does manage to pop, pick off Taz as he comes around the corner. The bomb is making his way around. And now from Pit, Trouble, he just single tapping them, gets another down. And this is starting to already become worrisome for Virtus Pro. One man down, make that two. And Snacks is picked off. Strux, Trouble, and Stavros. Stavros making his way around. He's about to get to Arch. You can see Bialy and Pasha already looking there. Just making his way through CT spawn as they try and come around. Challenging Trouble, who switched up, was in pit, now on site. He needs to land these one taps. He, he can't withstand, that's the thing. If they get close, they're in such an advantageous position, it's unreal. But Strux trying to work the edge of the smoke, not going to happen. Now it's down to Stavros. He doesn't have armor. He needs to hit these shots and quick. Got that flash, though, puts out towards site. Pasha turns it. And now Bialy and Pasha just wait this out. Stavros is going to have to hit some beautiful shots here. And it's just not happening. He's not being gifted the opportunity. And that's the difference. The armor gives you that little bit more sustain that you can take a bit of damage. You can rush the shot a little more. But sadly, Penta now losing out on that are in a bit of a predicament. Yeah, risky stuff from Penta. And Virtus Pro starting to collect those MAC-10s up. That's going to be a Galil, actually, for snacks, but... Three Mac 10s. Pasha holding on. Looks like he wants to go for the AWP for the next round. So, it's collecting up a fair few amount of grenades as well there. But overall, this is now danger time for Penta. 
They've got to be careful. Verda's Pro could run away with this. Could. <laughs> sure. So confident of this as well. And look at the nade to follow off the back of it. I think oh. that was... Took Neo put three. that out, and now yeah. Neo pushes forward. It's just lovely team synergy. And now Tabson, see what we can do with the CZ. This gun, well, pistol, should I say, is very good on this side, but that molly might just push him out of the ideal situation. And all of these smokes into play. Going to make it hard. Pasha puts him on his back, and now three left Penta are so locked out of this, Not considering Chris. the bomb's going A. Pasha's keeping them busy. Just pushed up around there. Neo, though, with the MAC-10 will finish things off. Crystal just the last man on site still. I assume they know he's there. Yeah, he's going to come around. Neo will close it out. And that's a 4K for Neo in that one. Collecting out the pistols. 13-4, Virtus Pro stretching the legs. 22 kills for Bialy there. Pasha, 18. Everybody else. That was that wasn't ever important four kills for Neo. He was only on six. Got himself up to ten. But to be fair, the thing that I like seeing these days is how the T sides and C T sides don't rush themselves into that buy. They're well aware that Penda cannot afford anything. Their armor is not gonna be in place, they're not gonna have guns really. They're still on the SMGs. They're gonna build the economy up so much so that going into the next couple of rounds, they're fairly secure. And look at this. They can be aggressive, they can go for it. Tamson needs to pull off a something unbelievable. And it's not going to happen. No. Bialy leaps in, checks the corner. Stavros is burning. He can't get out of there alive. Bialy clicks himself a second with the MAC-10. Trouble, he tries to push on through, but already they spot his move. They spot his aggression. Taz completely guns down Crystal. That was a lower banana. Trouble, he does get himself just the one. The second tap coming out from Strux as well, but Pasha should clean things up. Trouble, he gets another. Can he get a third? Oh, he's run out of bullets, tries to switch to the Mac-10, and it's a knife duel. He will get tasked. That's a lot of that. money for Trouble Eat, but Neo finally things, finishes things off. 14-4. Yeah, <laughs> see, Trouble Eat, a lot of cash for that one. Yeah, knives do come in handy. Um, not just because they're pretty, pretty skins, but they do get you a lot of money on the board. Um, and it will be able to give Penta a chance to really get into this round. Thanks for the sound effects there, Trouble. Just real loud, <laughs> real loud, buddy. I know it went well for you. Um, but on the other side, Neo's still sticking with the MAC-10. AK's everywhere else. It's a pretty well bought up Verdus Pro here. Um, and it feels like a matter of time at this sort of scoreline. Yeah, definitely. 14-4. Expecting to see the next few rounds closed out. Penta, they have to win this one or it's pretty much game over. GG moving on to TSM, who they face next. Which oh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure that's, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure that one's much easier. Well, Taz spotted on Boiler. Trouble is the one that picks him up. Snacks was peeking. Strux was holding around on balcony. Crystal's going to maybe push on through the smoke here. And if he does, he might catch VP off guard. Does get Bialy down. Snacks will not fall for it, though. And they've managed to get themselves in towards Arch. They've still got a lot of time left. Probably waiting with the flash just towards CT so he can peek it. Nothing there. Strux. Or at least nothing yet. Strux, Strux is coming is behind up behind them, them yeah. Snacks, Snacks is, is planting somewhere where he won't be seen because that smoke's actually covering off pretty nicely, oh. but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Probably playing it well. And wait, that knife pays off. Maybe they'll be a bit, uh, a bit annoyed at Trouble being the one making the impact there considering he was able to afford so much. Yeah, I think he... The money he's got now, he must have bought an M4 for someone else as well. I'm pretty sure he started with like 7 odd K maybe. Either way, 14-5. Virtus Pro still very much in a commanding position. They could afford to buy straight back up on this one. Taz is the only one with a Tech 9. Everybody else, AKs and Galil for Pasha. Pasha getting smoked off deep by Penta this time on Banana. And Stavros is going to be the man that's going to push up aggressively. But we can see Virtus Pro don't care too much because they have four man stacking ready for top and mid it looks like they're going to push maybe towards quad it looks like the smokes that i've seen being put out by them before we'll have to wait and see where they go to they might actually have a new flash or something they wanted to swarm towards ct arch but crystal is waiting crystal nice flash comes out that's a lot of court he goes for the peak off the back and he might do very well takes down bialy tags up a lot and now just through tabs and comes around to support taz pushes in towards the smoke and makes it through but look at this can they achieve anything no they're smoked out out-positioned and outnumbered, and sadly, Snacks will fall to the same fate. Beautiful flash by Crystal. Could have potentially got himself more kills, but it didn't matter. He saw everybody from Virtus Pro there, read it brilliantly. So, get themselves a sixth round on the board. As I mentioned, they picked up five rounds last time. 
on the CT. History seemingly repeating itself in the first half. Let's see if he does in the second as now we see Virtus Pro, of course, on the pistol. Can't afford too much, having to go full eco on this one. Yeah, that nade's going to hurt. <laughs> and it does. <laughs> so those, those two nades just kind of hurting a hell of a lot. And the first pro can't, I don't think they'll even get much of a gun away here unless uh, maybe tabs and peaks a little too much. Oh, well, well, it was only a case of someone getting too greedy and wanting to get those kills. It was Stavros, the man that went down, but Furtis Pro still leading 14-7. Just a matter of time, you feel, here. Furtis Pro maybe having a, a little too much fun in their 14th round. Cost them a couple here, but now they have themselves the AKs back on the board. Just the single molly for snacks, though, so it may be a banana play. Might be. Could be used just to clear out mm. apps or put towards Cubby. I'll just wait and see where Snacks puts it. He is in second mid. That could be something to put in towards apps to try and clear out one of the bedrooms. And the Arl again, a little caught off there, but look who's already awaiting. Strux pushed himself up, but Snacks just takes him down very easily, leaving only two at A, and this is a huge problem now. Normally, Penta had the numbers here. Now they don't. Stavros on the quick rotate to Arch, troubling Crystal, covering off Quad. Probably on site, you can see, expecting something to come out of this apartment. It's crystal ready and waiting. There's has a little step away, so there was that molly being used. Snack still holding on to one. Pasha's going to peek around, gets a glimpse of Stavros, has support. They force Stavros back. He's going to try and rotate the library, but trouble he realizes he's got people coming around the side. Manages to tap out Pasha, but sadly that means Stavros is down. Probably doing a great job from Pitt here. They haven't been able to clear him out. There he goes. Tabs are now the last man. He's making his way up mid. And the bomb already down for VP. Sadly for Tabs, and he's completely outnumbered. Outgunned. And as good as he's been. This might be that step too far. We'll see. It's a tag on one, but nothing more. Sadly for Penta. His first pro match point now. Yeah, match point. Looking likely that Virtus Pro will take this one. I think maybe they just took their eye off the ball a little bit, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of fun, even uh, coming into it there. Both going for the knife, the knife duel. It was, uh, no fun's allowed. No, no fun allowed. Super serious business here. But uh, yeah, Virtus Pro are clearly big favorites in this one, and it's pretty much going the way we expected. TSM, of course, are waiting. That is going to be on Mirage. And, uh, well, sadly for Penta, they just lost a G play on Mirage, so... Uh, not saying it's going to be close, that's for sure. That Molly going to slow Virtus Pro down a little. Actually, tell a lie, someone just pushed straight through it. It was Pasha. Pasha went straight through the Molly there. Maybe they're going to catch him off guard, but Crystal does take him down. Probably true. caught with a grenade in hand. Snacks takes his head off. Yeah, and uh, I'm starting to see Penta stacking out this A-site, and then in my mind, last round was, well, what, what if Neo actually pushed up Banana? He was starting to look for it. And that bomb is with Snacks. Neo's down the back. Taz holding the Roto. If he can just get control of this angle, he'll stop three players being able to support. He's not able to do so. And Stavros will find him. But now, First Pro have lost kind of any sort of gain towards either side. Yeah, the momentum they had definitely has disappeared. Tabson's got himself deep in B site. Stavros is making the rotate. Has been smoked off, though. So Tabson can be alone while Stavros tries to make this rotate. Catches Neo as he passes by. He was the bomb carrier. Snack collects the bomb. Is he going to be able to get it down on Grill? I don't think they're going to allow it. Penta should be able to close out this round if they can just get Snacks and Grill. They do finally finish him off there. So, 15-8. 16-9 it finished last time. Jesus. Can you not? Can you not do exact scores, please? <laughs> well, this looks like... Oh, ooh, that's a weird buy from Virtus Pro. Two Tech Nines, one CZ, and two AKs. And two Mollies. It's weird. I don't know what to make of that. It's, it's a little odd. It's a fast, aggressive push at Banana, but looks for it. Bialy's going to be leading the charge. He's coming straight up with the CZ. He gets popped straight off by Stavros. Tabson's there as well. And they are going lovingly into the arms of Penta. And that smoke will stop them dead in their tracks. I'm really not sure what Verse Pro are up to. I, 
Penta, when they, they believe that Vudder's prior on Ecos, love these nades at aggressive close play, and I guess maybe that's why they have the Tech 9s. Maybe they could just, just power through, but still not sold by this. Not by quite some way. But Neo's starting to look. He seems to be the guy always on the other bomb side. So when the vast majority push one way, he likes Ooh. to go the other. They've rotated. Oh, Trouble's coming back, though. As I say, they've managed to catch Tabson off. Stavros and Trouble had completely come around expecting to be there, and it may well work out because Neo oh, now... Jesus, Taz has a gun as well. It's got Stavros down. Like you say, Taz has collected himself a weapon. Trouble all alone on B-side. Struxo is going looking and fine snacks, and more importantly, the bomb. And I'm glad the Penta took back some map control there. They were allowing Vodas Pro so much freedom, and they were just holding these kind of closer angles. Just that little bit of aggression down mid gave him a little bit more insight. But Neo in an awkward predicament. He could really make Trouble's life hard. Trouble is just waiting in towards those ruins if Neo gets the first shot towards him. Oh, that's big for Trouble. Stopping that is going to give away the game. Taz was trying to come around towards B. Three players now closing in. He's got nine seconds and no hope in hell. Trouble shuts him down. And once again, I ask the question, I'm not sold on that buy coming out from them. It was it was interesting. Now they're going to have to go eco. And now, well, they've won an eco round before. It's possible, but Penta starting to get some confidence. But Virtus Pro, let's not rule them out. Still on match point. A lot of rounds to go yet for Penta to do anything in this game. As it is, well, they've... Can they go one better than last week? I guess it's a round improvement, right? That's you got to be happy with that, maybe? I don't know. Tapson flashing himself out. Very aggressive down Banana here. Trying to push straight on him. No, they're on a pistol. Gets one. Taz may pop out and get him down. No. Yes, he does. I think he was expecting a bit more cover from Stavros there. Snacks tries to peek himself around Boiler. And it is easy for Penta to pick themselves up that 10th round. One more round than last time. And I'm really glad that Penta is starting to try and take map control. It's something they weren't doing on their start for CT. But now they're actually, you know, getting a little aggressive here and there, picking up the early opener here and there, even against an eco or the bought up weird by last time. I really like that. It just kind of limits Virtus Pro taking complete control and doing the Virtus plow, should I say. So let's look on the other side of things. Virtus Pro now gonna have to try and switch up a bit. They've been kind of called out, they've been kind of outplayed. But now will Penta expect Virtus Pro to be playing the second mid apps presence sort of performance. It worked last time because Snacks got that opener and called out. I'm not sure who it was in there. I'm trying to remember who it was. It might have been Strux who pushed up last time. We'll have to wait and see if Snacks can make the same impact here because Crystal is open from quad. That's a lovely little flash, but turned away from Crystal and showing his presence finally. Oh. Yeah, Trouble is actually positioning himself around Arch this time instead. That smoke is going to slow things down unless they just push straight through it. They smoke off Arch. Now they are pushing through. Pasha, though, going the direction of the smoke. Trouble getting himself backed away onto site. Trying to see if they can get lucky through the smoke. Checking the angles, checking the corners, trying to put some bullets into the corner. But with funds lacking, they haven't got the mollies to try and burn out those corners. So they're going to have to look physically look. Look at stack on site as well. <laughs> I think it's Tabson. Stavros and Tabson. Him? Yeah, Tabson just above him. And you can just about see as they push up, and no one will peek that. No one instantly looks there, so it'll have to be an adjustment. It's like just an adorable little angle, but it might be the undoing of Virtus Pro, maybe expecting someone to rotate on towards LA site. But Pasha's lurking through. Tabson now needs to make the impact play. Oh, uh. Tabson, come on, buddy. You could have had that, but no. Gets taken down by Bialy. Pasha picked one up at CT Arch. However, Crystal snuck through, but now it's just to Crystal, and he has to turn up here. He has to try and get Pasha so close. Not going to be the case, though. Pasha finally gets revenge on Crystal for that orb shot 